Well, that was a fun day off. It's Sunday and I'm back at work. Uh, you know, these are the things that I have to deal with on a regular basis right now. But something has happened in the commentary world uh, I, of uh, what's going on with uh, the whole Sweet Baby Ink debacle and Black Girls Gamers. Of course, there has been a copyright strike on JT Smash. This was only a matter of time before they, they pulled the uh, ultimate uh, out, of their, out of their bag of tricks to try and silence people on the situation. And, of course, I said, if something happens, I would be here to talk about it. And this is absolutely ridiculous at this point. JT Smash put together a video using a couple clips, very minor clips, all in, in what I could tell was fair use, um, and uh, going the nefarious route here and pulling the copyright strike system, a DMCA takedown with a copyright strike on JT Smash is, in all intents and purposes, a way to silence the conversation, and this is not right. These are things that, uh, you, you know... I've tried to step away from this stuff uh, because I don't honestly care about them bringing down what's going on in the world of gaming and media and all these other things, trying to uh, trying to promote things that just don't work. And we have seen many companies shut their doors because of this uh, this attitude to try and say we're better than you, we're better than everyone else in the world, and these people need to be put on pillars and and they need to be praised. No, that's not what needs to be praised here. This type of thing where you have a copyright system that uh, gets abused uh, by people, it's absolutely despicable at this point. And that's why I am choosing to talk about it right now, because this is an absolute ridiculous thing to actually see. Now, yes, I have stepped away. I have stepped away from all of this. I'm, I'm barely following any of the stuff that's going on online, but... When I saw the uh, the thumbnails, when I saw this stuff come down, uh, you know, I've had a couple people reach out to me about it. it it's uh, it's not cool. Uh, I, I think Black Girls Gamers here are, are shooting themselves in the foot. Um, they're not, you know, I've seen a lot of people, I, we even know people that have uh, turned their backs on that organization because of what they promote. They, they promote a divide between people and it's absolutely ridiculous. At this point, I want to see a community come together. I'd rather be part of a community that comes together and does something for the greater good of each other where you build up with each other. This whole divide and conquer, this whole scenario that we're seeing out there in the online space, in the commentary community, is not right. Um, it, I, I just, I just don't get it anymore. I don't, I like, I get it. You know, this is kind of on the same lines of what we've seen with Kotaku, uh, on the same lines with just all of these news outlets that want to sit there and, and hammer against Wukong right now. For what good reason? You know. When, when there's clips online, yeah, they can be taken out of context, but you got to deal with it, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, if anyone ever wants to talk to me about, uh, stuff going on in the world, I'm more than willing to talk about it. I'm more than willing to slide into DMS and say, listen, this is the way I see things. This is the way I, I just don't like the current establishment that we're out there. Uh, taking advantage of everyone. And you, this is on the heels of, uh, what is it? Take this, the organization that, uh, that were funding things that pretty much I, uh, hateful rhetoric against gamers in general. This is the stuff that we see online. This is the stuff that I've started to distance myself from because it's just despicable and disparaging and it does not help any, any conversation. It doesn't help grow anyone out there. It just, now we have a situation where JT Smash has a legal course and is going to probably end up spending money on legal fees fighting against uh, black girls gamers at this point. And now they're going to be tied up in a court system. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that type of bullshit in their lives. They just, you know, in a lot of ways, we just, a lot of people just want to sign, shine some sunlight on despicable things that are happening in the world of media. And the and people want to see great things get created. And that's where I am right now. I want to create good things and I want to create something that's going to make you happy and smile. But 
This is YouTube. YouTube, the algorithm is absolutely despicable and it drags everyone down. And I'm done with that bullshit. I am done with this crap that I have seen online. I just don't give two craps about it. But I have to sit there and, st and speak up when I see someone getting a nefarious copyright strike for no good reason. This is why you sit there and you see me pissed off when I see this type of shit. Because that's all it is. That's all it is. It's crap. And, I mean, what, what am I supposed to do about that? There's not, there's nothing I can do about it at this point other than make a video and, and put some uh, some eyesight on this type of thing that's going on in the world of commentary, in the world of just the, the despicableness of it all. You know, JT Smash, I hope you throw the book at them. I hope you do do a lot more things with that and just keep making the videos you want to make, but... I got to say, I, I, I want to move away from this type of uh, rhetoric. I, I just don't like this type of thing anymore. And uh, I'd rather sit there uh, just talking about great things that are yet to come. I watched an amazing live stream last night, one that I will remember for a very long time. And that's the type of thing that I want to do now. But to sit there, wake up this morning and see that uh, JT Smash got a copyright strike because he put up a video uh, showing some sunlight on something. It, you you got to sit back and you look at it and you go, okay, where does this lie? We know that Black Girls Gamers at this point will do everything possible to try and silence the people out there that they don't like. If other people put up videos uh, showing them in a good light, they're like, okay, yeah, that's allowed. But no, it's the same thing. It's the same sort of thing. You got to treat everyone equally at this point. Uh, you notice I'm not using any of the videos or any screenshots here. This is just my opinion on the matter. Don't take my opinion as legal advice. Don't take my opinion as anything other than some guy on the internet, because that's what it is right now. That's all it is right now is a guy on the internet sitting there going, this isn't right. Uh, the course of speaking, the course of discussion needs to be maintained open. And when you silence your critics like this, it does nothing but embolden those that will be more critical of you. And it's going to have a Streisand effect, which you're already probably seeing. Anyway, I'm going to sign off here. Have yourselves a great day. Do something good for yourself today. Live in the moment and do something more. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix, Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.